I need a volunteer because we're going to do a PSA today. And now, I, ideally, it's a, someone in a, uh, a white sorority. Say what they... The PSA is a public service announcement, and I want you to say what they need to know about blackface. You know, when white people put black paint or polish or something on their face to make to uh, approximate being a person of African heritage or ancestry, sub-Saharan African ancestry. You don't know people did that? Well, she did it right there. She's a sorority member at another university. The fact that you don't know what blackface is does not make you racist. However, it makes you highly susceptible to possibly being racist. And okay. so what is the PSA? What do, peop- what do you think people need to know about blackface? I don't think that, we sh- that people should be impersonating another, another race, another, another face color. Because if they do... Because they're probably... It's disrespectful. And I don't would... think they would be doing it in positive terms, like positive situations. You're doing really well. I don't know what they're doing with the black face, but it's probably not something positive. Can you imagine one thing, reason why this is just particularly seen as being egregious? Like, for example, this woman right here yeah. got kicked out of her university. Can I call on an audience member? I think blackface originated in, um, like, the Jim Crow area. Um, Basically, there would be, like, performances uh, where white people would dress up in blackface and, like, people would go pay and watch them, like, mock black culture and stuff like that. Uh Uh-huh. Like minstrel shows and stuff like that. Uh Uh-huh. And then, why suddenly now? Like, why is it suddenly just a thing that is particularly egregious? Um, I think now it's just we live in, like, an oversensitized world. So things of this nature especially now, are, like, way worse. I mean, there's horrible uh, undertones to this behavior. Yeah? Yes. Which would be? I mean, it's just, it was used as a form of mockery to okay, black people. Okay, I got you. Which All is right. not, okay. not okay. All right, cool. Here's what y'all need to know, right? This one, for some reason, I don't know how it is or why it is that people don't get the message that... Or, like, didn't hear about it. Who knows? I don't know. Don't get the message that, like, you just don't do this. Why is this particularly egregious? It's mockery. It's this. It's that. I I don't know. Why that? Lots of things are mockery. Lots of things are this, that, and the other. But this, for some reason, is just a line that you don't cross. You can't. It just has been decided by whoever. I don't know who. But life itself, that you just don't cross this line. And yet... People, like these young women, haven't been paying any attention to the news, and you are at risk of this, that somehow just think it's a good idea. And, like, I'm not saying it's good or bad. Is it, is it like, a problem that this is just the line in the sand and that she got kicked out of school? I don't even have an opinion on that. That's irrelevant. The, this is a PSA, public service announcement. You just don't do it under any circumstances, period, right? You, there are circumstances where you can drop the M-bomb because there are black people in this class who would be like, Danny, yeah, there are certain instances when you could drop the M-bomb. I don't know, you're singing along with a song. or what, I don't know, there are people who would say, like, yeah, dude, just do it, whatever. I don't know. But not this one. Sometimes people just aren't paying attention. So it's like when someone uses the word colored people, right? Colored people, there's nothing wrong. It's not, it's not a racist term. It's, it was never a racist term, but it got turned into one in the following sense, right? For some reason, it just got decided over the past like 15 or 20 years that saying colored people was a bad thing. It was never used as a raci- in a racist way. Not dropping the end bomb. If you were to say that in the microphone, yeah, you know, colored people, you'd hear this, this sort of like, uh, in the class. And the reason for that is because, first off, because people have just decided that it's racist, even though it never was used that way. But also, it's an indication that people just aren't like paying attention. You know what I mean? Like that's like you're, if you if you don't know not to use colored people, that means like you don't ever have a conversation with a black person, or you don't pay attention to conversations with black people. So you wouldn't you don't even know. Which tells me then that you don't give a shit. If blackface isn't okay, can I ask you, is this okay? You know what? You want to know what the difference is? Their voices aren't heard enough to say anything. Exactly, man. Indigenous people's voices aren't heard. 
Native Americans are so out of the picture that even black people don't pay attention to them. I'm like, come on, black people. If I can't do blackface, then you can't do redface. It's kind of basic. Does anyone want to add anything to anything I said? Anyone just feel like they want to kick it out? For anyone who in here who's seen the movie Tropic Thunder, <laughs> uh, Robert Downey Jr. Uh, performs as an African-American character uh, in the movie. Although I would argue that it's not for the purpose of mocking African-American culture in any way, um, but just for in the spirit of comedy. And I wouldn't necessarily say that it's not a funny movie just because he does blackface in it. Well, here's um, the other thing with that movie, bro. That movie was quite a number of years ago. And that movie today would not get made. Things have shifted. That's how fast things have shifted on the blackface issue. In fact, people who have worked on that movie have already said, actually, I apologize for being part of that movie. And so, like, uh, one thing that's okay here, it's not okay there. And it's like, how that not? Which is why you have people who are, like, my age and older who are still saying colored people. And then they say colored people because, you know, that's just the word you use your whole life, right? And, uh, and then suddenly they get called out as being racist. Do you have anything to add to that about it? Yeah, because in the, in the case of the blackface, there's a, there's a historical context to it. And yeah. it's sort of legitimate that people might be offended because in the past it was used as a form of mockery. Um, but it seems uh, with the wording of colored people or people of color that the change doesn't necessarily have that context. So yeah. it's still legitimately racist if people have just maybe arbitrarily decided to be offended just by it decide, in recent years. Which is what it is, man. People just decided that. And that's okay. I, I'm not the one to say like what people want to be called. You'd be called whatever you want to be called. In a sense, it is about the actual like changing of the color of your skin, but it's more about the fact that no one should be like portraying the black experience if they're not black. And the fact that they would have Robert Downey Jr. do that instead of hiring an actual black actor. No, I but that like was is... part of the shtick, right? Dude, there were black people working on that movie. You know what I mean? This wasn't no, just a bunch it. of white people. I, that... I'm not saying that um, it was all white people who did it, but I think that's a lot, like, part of the issue is that, I think that's, like, part of the whole blackface thing now. Yeah, I got like you. that white people shouldn't be portraying African-American experience <laughs> or the black experience if they're not. There are black people in this room, you know this, who would disagree with you on that. Like, that's your opinion, right? I think my opinion is that white people shouldn't portray blah, 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 blah. And in my humble opinion, it's a problem if he starts to believe that his way is the only way, which is why we have classes like this to have these kinds of conversations, to say, like, well, maybe there are issues that, that I care about that other people don't care about. So maybe they have issues that I care, that they care about that I don't care about. So I know that like colored people is a racist term, but like I'm on Twitter all the time and like people use like the term people of color or like yeah. POC when they're talking about racial yep. terms. Is that considered racist? No, listen, first off racist is like, understand, I, I don't even like to use the word racist. It's just sort of, because everybody has different opinions, right? Like there is nothing, there's no book that you can open up that says, Here's how it is. So understand that. Be really clear about that. There's no word that you can use. That's just like, what are we talking about? People of color. What are we talking about? That includes Hispanics. Hispanics are people of color. So these are, people, these are both people of color. Like really, what's it mean? Colored people, we use that to refer, that was black or particularly African-Americans. And it was a term that African-Americans called African-Americans, white people called African-Americans, other people called African-Americans. It was fine, that's what it was. But we went through the 60s and there was this sort of movement into the 70s where it was like, nah, let's like, come up with some other terms because colored people was historically associated with one downness, like Negro people started to say is, man, language is oppressive, so just get rid of that, and we're not going to use it anymore, so we're going to come up with something else. So people started to use black, they started to use African American, but because there was no term for all people, like minorities, minoritized status, minorities, right? So you have like the majority, the minority. So then you get this minority is sort of derogatory also. It's like oh, minorities, right? It's like, ah, uh, what's minority? Because minority is not just racial minority, right? Women are a minority. We try to, people try to come up, okay, we need a term that revolves, that addresses ancestry differences and people who are white 
and people who are not white. We need some kind of term. Colored people we can't use because it really only referred to black people and, they, and black people don't want to use it anymore. So people started to say people of color. So you'll hear me say that sometimes. Then minorities is also problematic and then people start to say, okay, people of minoritized status because minorities is just sort of disparaging in some way. People of minoritized status. It's just a descriptive term that isn't disparaging. So it's not, this is not really about political correctness, my friends. It really is about just finding ways to have conversations that make sense.